Hey guys, how are you all? Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the preliminary design of a column. Okay, so preliminary design uh, is done of a critical column. Alright, so by critical, I mean that uh, the column which take uh, most of the loads. For example, uh, this corner column takes uh, the load of this half, this half, right? Only this portion. So this critical, this column uh, takes a uh, load of this half, this half, and this half from three sides while uh, this column takes load from all the four sides that is this half this half this half and this half uh, for example okay so considering that uh, we are at a half okay so it takes load just like this all right so this 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 entire portion it takes load of, however this column only takes load of uh, this portion so supposing that uh, you know this line is intersecting at the center all right so let's suppose that it, it oops intersects at the center oh snap okay there we go buddy alright so uh, supposing that uh, you know this line is intersecting at the center alright center so this column only takes a uh, load of this portion however this column takes the portion of this entire region okay so that is that this is a critical column uh, same goes for this column this is also a critical column while these are not uh, the critical columns okay so we do the prelim design of a critical column okay all right so for doing a uh, prelim design so i have designed you know uh, this co this is our critical column and this is the entire reason uh, the slab portion you know the that the column takes the load of all right <coughs> okay so first we calculate the dead load of all the th all the you know things that uh, come upon that column Okay, so uh, self weight is equal to unit weight into volume. So unit weight uh, is unit per unit volume. So we get the self weight by multiplying unit weight of that uh, item times the volume. So volume is basically the length into breadth into height, right? Okay, so self weight of slab. So we have to calculate the self weight of slab. Why? Because uh, this slab, all right. So this, okay. So just like this, and let's delete it like this all right okay so this slab entire slab comes over this column so we have to calculate the self weight of uh, this slab all right for uh, doing the prelim design of the that uh, column okay so we get it 25 that is the unit weight of the concrete so length into breadth of the slab times the thickness that is uh, 130 uh, mm all right okay so self weight of the partition wall that comes over the uh, slab that is a unit weight of the partition wall i have taken here as 0.44 because i have used the prefab here okay so length into breadth self weight of floor finish floor finish i have taken as 1 kilo newton per meter square okay so 1 kilo newton per meter square times the area so it gives me the load of this floor finish right okay so self weight of the beam so we get uh, 25 that unit weight of the concrete so this is a uh, length this is a uh, uh, Okay, so this is the length, uh, this is the depth, and this is the breadth of the beam. So these these two data come from the preliminary design of the beam. All right, so same goes for uh, time. So this plus this. All right, so why? So it's a uh, okay. So this beam plus this beam, right? So there are two. All right. Okay, so this and self weight of the column. So we get it uh, as this. We have to subtract the slab here, uh, depth of the slab. So floor to floor height minus the uh, depth of the slab. We have to decrease. We have to reduce it or subtract it because we have already included the load of the slab. All right, into 0.61 times 0.61. So we don't know the size of the column yet, but uh, uh, prior to getting the size, we take a rough rough estimate of the column, and uh, that is I have taken here as 610 mm. All right, so we get uh, unit weight uh, total weight. Of of all the uh, things uh, you know all the things that come over that uh, column or as a total we get that dead load as 273.86 kN ok so after that we calculate the live load that comes upon that column ok so taking the live load at 4 kN per meter square we take we just assume it uh, you can if, if we that is your residential building you can take it as 2.5 or 3 kN per meter square you know depends upon its purpose alright so uh, let us take that uh, some floors like same basement ground first second and third fourth and top floors so I have taken uh, these these many floors alright so calculation uh, in same basement uh, is uh, so it's 4 kN per meter square right so we have to multiply it with the area so area of that slab okay so 6.325 times 6.53 that is length into breadth this gives me the area of the slab times the unit weight uh, no no so live intensity uh, load intensity I'm sorry load intensity gives me the load okay 
so in ground floor uh, uh, so i scored i scored for live load that is is 875 part 2 says that uh, in every slab uh, up to the four, fifth floor or i, I think it's fourth floor uh, the load decreases by 10% so live load decreases by 10% so that is why uh, i have used this factor 0.9 Okay, so first floor we got it as uh, same same data and uh, the factor is 0.8 here and in second floor it's 0.7 and in third floor is 0.6 up to uh, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 up to 5 floors it goes on decreasing by 0.1% so no, no, 0.1 that is 1 per 10% right okay so after that uh, uh, fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth uh, sixth and seventh it's constant uh, by 0.6 and 0.6 and after the seventh I think it uh, goes uh, now constant at 0.5 factor okay all right so uh, we, we, we get the total live load as 862.15 kilonewton all right okay so we uh, add the dead load and live load of each of floor so dead load of each floor is constant that is 273.86 that we got earlier and live load uh, it changes floor wise so we add dead load and live load we get the total load and finally we add all these loads and get this value okay so this is the total load that is acting on the critical uh, column from same basement to the top floor not only of the same basement or not only of a floor it's from same basement to top floor all right Okay, so uh, we factor it as per uh, IS-456, that is, you know, for uh, uh, following the limit state method. Alright, total factor load is 1.5 times uh, this value, and we get uh, this value. Alright, so increasing, we increase it by 30%, uh, so th for earthquake consideration. So we get ultimate load as 1.3 times 4168.975, that is 5419.675 kN. Alright, so now we have this formula. Right for getting uh, the uh, you know that this formula is uh, used for getting uh, you know this load value for a column that has uh, non eccentric load that is that has an purely axial load. Okay, so we use this formula. All right, you must have seen in your uh, design of RCC uh, book this kind of formula. All right, so PU is 0.4 times FCK, that is the compressive strength of the concrete, uh, times AZ. AZ is the total uh, cross area of the concrete, that is length in length into breadth of the that column. Minus ASC is the area of the concrete, plus 0.67 times FI is the uh, yield strength of uh, our rebar and ASC is the area of the steel all right so assuming percentage of steel uh, so let us assume that percentage of steel we are using 4% so we can vary it up to 6% however uh, due to you know, you know not making it uh, very uh, uh, so we use uh, the percentage of steel as 4% we, we don't uh, use 6% uh, because it makes a column a bit more congested all right okay so uh, so we we have this PU value right so that is 5419.6 and 5 10 to the power 3 we convert it into Newton right uh, that is 0 0.4 uh, so we put the rest of the values and we do we have we have got uh, ASC and we have got uh, ASC right so we know we know what ASC is ASC is 4% of AZ so we don't know AZ so fi finally we get the AZ as uh, this much value and AZ that is the gross area of the uh, gross area of that column that means length into breadth of that column alright so considering the square column so if we consider the square column depth is equal to width so depth is equal to width is square root of this value alright so add up size uh, as so we get square root of this value as 485.425 and uh, going on the safe, safe side we get it as 500 500 column okay so this much for this video and this is how you do it uh, do you, uh, the preliminary design of a column I know this is very fast uh, because uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give much emphasis on this video. I have to make other video on SAP. All right. Okay. So hope this was helpful, and if it was, hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you.